Hey guys, welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. Today I have for you a special unboxing and what I have here is the Vicky Pro and it's a 4K sports cam and this was sent to me by the guys over at um, Vicky. All right. And uh, basically I want to thank Linus for sending me this unit for review for you guys. All right. So before we begin, let's roll that intro. Alright guys, we're back and as we said guys, we're gonna go right into looking at what you get with this great package. Now this is a 4K sports cam, it's called a Vicky Pro cam and you can get this for under $100, um, it's a great deal. Alright, so let's look at what um, you actually get. So first of all, the first thing you'll notice right out of the box, you get a great case. It comes with a matted finish, it's kind of a um, textured surface, it's great. It's a great carrying case, straight out of the box, I'm impressed already. Um, these are sold on Amazon. I'm going to put a link down in the description where you can pick this up to show some love back to Vicky Pro and the guys over there like Linus that sent me this for review. Alright, so let's look at what's on the inside. Now, I've already opened up to save time. Alright, on the inside you'll see all of the accessories. Now guys, you get a ton load of accessories and as I said, this is for under $100. Can actually believe that such a deal exists. Alright, so here we have the camera itself, the 4K camera with the Vicky Pro um, branding, it's Wi-Fi um, enabled. You'll also get two batteries, as you can see over here, here's one of the batteries, All right? You get a spare unit as well. Over here, you have the charger, All right? And that's the charger batteries, so you can keep switching them out to keep you going all day. All right, here you have the remote. Let's put this back. And over here you have a bunch of um, accessories such as the tripod mount and so on that you need to fix this to your tripod you also get a glass cover in here as an extra cover for the camera itself the back cover all right and please remember that this is also um, waterproof all right you have the charger and also have some other um, accessories such as clamps to actually clamp it in, in place because this is actually an action cam so you can actually clamp it onto a bike hang or rail or something and to go with it all right over here you have a bunch of straps so you can use to affix it to your head and so on to keep the action rolling so if you're on the move and you can't be obstructed such as you don't want your hands to be obstructed you can actually put this on you have a strap over here you have a carrying unit that you can have it in your hand to operate while you're doing other things with your other hand all right which is quite cool it also comes with us a little tassel down here all right so up here we have um, your accessories and you can see here that these accessories include um, the action cam manual also include a few other tassels and up here as you can see also you'll see a USB cable and some other accessories guys, so right away guys I give it a thumbs up for accessories um, I can tell you straight away a Another action cam such as a GoPro would cost um, three, four times as much and you wouldn't even get these accessories, you'd have to buy them separately. And here we have um, about 20 plus accessories to mount this thing in every possible way and you get them all free. So right away just by the accessories alone makes this deal worth it, alright? Hey guys, in, a, in the interest of time, here is all the accessories in case you want to know all the things that come into the, the parent to the cam itself. As you can see, it's here in the waterproof casing. I'll focus it. This is the Vicky Pro. Remember, it has Wi Fi capability 4K. On the front here, you can see the power button and the mode button. All right, you can even see the other buttons around here that are protected by the waterproof casing. This is the base with a pre installed or um, the basic mount. On this side, you can see the USB ports, right? The clamp on top, another button up here, and the preview window around on this side. All right. Guys, this is the cam outside of its housing as you can see and that was the waterproof housing so this is the front of the unit with the 4k branding and the power and mode button this is the shutter button all right this is the side with the up and down um i think what it is looks like the volume or this up and down navigation on the back here if i can focus you'll see remote and action cam um, options and the display window around here you'll notice that there are two ports and they are HDMI micro all right port and I think what is a mini USB port all right on the base here there is a section which looks like a section for the battery so I would insert the 
battery at the base here. What you get with this is that you'll also get a micro SD card. All right, guys. So on this side, you'll find the um, the 32 gig, and this is a micro SD card. It's in this slot here, right beside here, and it's used to store all the data and pictures and so on for the phone. All right. First thing you want to do to power on the unit is to long press the power button or the mode button at the front right here. So I simply pressing on this button, it will power up. So once it's powered up, what you want to do next is that now I just need to hold it steady. Um, what you want to do next is that you're in photo mode. As you can see, it will take 12 megapixel wide angle shots, as I'm trying to show here. All right, so just use the shutter button on the top here, it will snap a photo. You hear the shutter sound, meaning that it has just taken a photo. It will also show you that six photos are taken here out of a possible 5788 pictures. Now, if you want to change the mode to another mode, just press the power button or the mode button on the front. And there you go, it can do burst shots 12 megapixel. You can also go into settings and change this mode. You can take time lapse shots according to the time that you set. You can go into settings. So, by key pressing in the mode button at the front, you go from recording in 1080p, or you can set it to 4K, but you have to go into settings and just keep cycling through. Remember, this is just a device that costs less than $100. Now, you go into settings, top the button on top to select now let's look at the menu options right here to cycle through use the buttons at the side you can see we have um, resolution we have loop video you can set the loop video time from the mode i showed you earlier you can set timestamp exposure photo resolution burst photo time lapse you can come um, and all those settings all right power frequency you can set the language you can set the current date and time you can set sound indicator you can um, set to correct videos that are set upside down, screen saver, power saver. You can format the SD card. You can reset the device and you can also look at the version. So let's look at the version. To go into any option on screen, tap the shutter button up here once. As you can see, it says that it's the action cam. Video resolution, let's show you the type of resolutions that we can get in here. As you can see, we can do um, 1080p at 60 frames per second if you want. We can also do other resolutions such as 1080p at 30 frames per second, 4K, that's 4 times 1080p, that's um, Super HD, and a 4K at 25 frames per second, we can do half that, which is, well, roughly half that, that's 2.7K at 30 frames per second, all right? So for now, we're just going to leave it at being 1080p 60 frames per second. So let's look at that. So you can set the photo resolution to the max of 12 um, pixels you can do it as a wide angle shot as you can see that will capture everything or you can go for a less um, 8 megapixel wide um, for the 12 megapixel it's 4608 by 2592 right and you can mess with the settings 5 megapixel wide and so on that's what you want all right so if you want the option just select it uh, frequency you can mess with the language let me show you the languages that are available the language is available you have english you also have i think that's chinese italian spanish right portuguese dutch french and you see all of these languages even japanese and korean and so on all right so of course we'll be using um english Okay guys, so here is the cam being set up with the easy Wi-Fi um, easy Wi-Fi um, app. You can also, I'll put a link in the full article to everything. So basically this is a cool little app that comes that allows you to connect to the cam um, remotely. So as you can see here, once the cam is on, if I can operate this with one hand, you hold the down button while it's in this, um, in the main menu. And what's going to happen is going to show you Wi-Fi ready. Next you're going to tap on this and scan it's very easy you can do it within about a few minutes so as you can see it says connecting and the camera is ready right and once it's connecting there you go so as you can see here i can move the cam around uh, you don't need to focus on the you can have the um, camera moving independently and as you can see it's basically moving and sending back the feedback 
to the camera from here you can do several things such as let's see you could um if i wanted to record so you see it's recording now right i could stop the recording i could send a remote signal to capture a picture all right and so on that's on the camera itself um, remotely so as you can see here these are the snaps that I took and it's now feeding it directly from the, the cam which is very 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 cool all right all right guys another cool thing you could actually do is that you could actually use the remote I don't think you necessarily have to use this unless it's absolutely necessary like you're out in public and you can't bother, be bothered to actually switch back over so what you could actually do is to control everything with this button here uh, you could mount it on a tripod um, if you have approved tripod you could put the camera on the, the design tripod or one of the accessory mounts using them and you could actually use the remote button to actually snap a shot or cause a recording right and i think that's a better alternative over using the phone although it's depending on the situation Alright guys, another thing um, that I want to point out about this camera is that you can always preview your pictures either from here or from the app, right? So what you want to do while you're in uh, video mode or picture mode or in one of the picture options on screen, you just hit the up navigation, you'll see video option or you can go down with the down navigation. For example, I could tap on the and as you can see here, the pictures will show up. It's good good for a quick um, preview all right so it's not bad you can cycle through the pictures as you're seeing here so I can just cycle through my photos and preview them as you can see here I'll put these on screen after the video to show you what this resolution looks like right, as you can see it's quite clean wide angle I'm quite impressed with the picture quality picture looks very vibrant especially on your phone or when you transfer them over to the computer as you can see if you have the um, the date and time set the timestamp will actually appear on the video which is cool so you can actually switch through um, another thing is that when you have recorded a video um, the speaker itself is right here so what happens is that the audio on this thing is not very good so that's the first um, thing that I realize is gonna be just okay all right, it's not going to be perfect all right because of the small um audio input area over here now you need at least a class 10 sd card it must be at least 32 gigs or less it has to be class 10 the battery of which you have two it will take about five hours to charge um you'll get about um two hours two and a, um almost three hours with a constant recording you might need to use both batteries um the battery life is quite good so far I've been using this for probably an um, hour and a half or so and playing with it and as you can see the battery is about half so I'm impressed with the um, video capturing quality the megapixel the wide um, angle lens I love the battery life all right so the only problem I have is just the um, audio quality I, otherwise everything is um, great and considering that this is a cam that's 4k on the um under 100 um bucks it's actually a good um deal all right all right guys so these are my final thoughts on the cam i hope you um enjoyed the review so far so first of all i want to say that this is a great deal actually it's a steal of a deal in that you're getting a 4k cam for under 100 bucks from vicky pro all right um the interface is very simple it's easy to understand within just um, probably about 15 minutes or so on of playing around with it you can actually get the features if you just glance at the manual those extra hidden features will just pop right out at you um, so i love that i must say i'm impressed um, everything was perfect except that um, there's a few shortcomings yes i would have wished though that it would have at least given me the ability to change the angles of the cam from wide angle to a normal angle but that's not bad still that's something i can live with um, it has plenty of connectivity features which it had a auto image stabilization but you can actually work with that by keeping this cam steady if a situation calls for a lot of accessories so for that i give um the people who have vicky pro their um thumbs up for that you will not need any other accessories you could even use these accessories on other action cams you don't need anymore the case is perfect and that sweetens the deal. 
the extra battery pack is perfect the remote is great the app that you download for your phone also works quite well it's easy intuitive right right now you are actually getting a very very good deal so guys i want to just go over to the link in the description and i want to do this check out this um, great deal of a 4k camera on amazon right i totally give this thing a thumbs up for video quality 4k um it's up there it's very very good guys i would recommend this one over any other um 4k camera in this category that's a great value buy right you can save yourself a lot of money over a say for example a gopro or so on all right guys this is ricardo from black tech tips with another um unboxing and review i want to thank the guys who are vicky pro again especially linus for sending me this review um unit um guys i just want to just show some love to that like button and also share this video and also check out the full article on the website blogtechtips.com so ricardo saying bye until next time